It's another amazing day in paradise, y'all. For those of you that don't know me, my government name is Cara Lynn Sanders. My nickname and what most people know me by is Kai, but my super shiro name, now that's Mama Kai, spelled M-O-M-M-A, because I found my superpowers being the mom and student of a young black male superhero. Thank you so much for being here. I want to wish you a happy Black History Month or a solid three days in, and I'm so excited for what this month is going to bring. And I just want to take a moment to say uh, to me, happy becoming Black History Month. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe it's more like a year, but I got plans, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I have a three-step plan to becoming Black History this year. The first step, now, let me, before I go there, let me just tell you that the theme for this endeavor is moving to peace from war in 2024. That's the personal theme I've taken from my life this year. Let me repeat that. Moving to peace from war in 2024. Can I just take a moment to take a deep breath into that? Whew. Because we know there's a lot going on in our world. There's a lot going on in our communities. There's a lot going on between people that starts inside. And so step one is to issue a six-week gratitude journal challenge to the city citizens of Raleigh, North Carolina, and anyone else who wants to get involved. My the the you can start at any time, but I am inviting people to purchase the gratitude journal challenge that I created. Well, that God led me to create. I'm gonna throw that out there. And to start on Tuesday, February 13th, which is Black Love Day. National Black Love Day, y'all. <sighs> yes. What keeping a gratitude journal will do is help to shift our minds to a better place. And that will immediately shift the energy of our communities. And eventually, when this takes off, the world. My second step is to put a significant dent in the amount of unhoused individuals and families that are out there. And the third step is to put policies in place. And in order to put policies in place to support um, a better community, a better livelihood, better livelihoods for people, you have to be in a place where policies are made. And so I intend to run for and become elected as the first black female mayor of Raleigh, North Carolina this year. Whew, can I breathe into that one? <laughs> it was during the last election season in 2022 that God spoke to me and said that Raleigh didn't need a mayor. They needed a matriarch. But it's not just any matriarch. It's not just any kind of mama. We need a trauma-informed, compassionate individual who will lead to peace from war because she lives at peace and not at war. And while I am still on that journey myself, I am constantly moving in that direction and I believe I am the person to do it. And in order to prove that I can do it, I'm going to do the first two steps first. And so if you'd like to get involved, please check out the information below. It'll tell you when you can see the plan that I have in more detail um, on the Open Mind, where I'll be featured this Wednesday, February 7th, a production of the Motivation Readers Mastermind Network. You can also check out my blog, and you can also order a gratitude journal right down in the description. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the amazing day you're creating. Peace.